Hey everyone, it's Helper Joel here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make reaction rules in Discord using Carlbot. The first thing that we're going to do is go to the server where we want the reaction rules to be made. And what we're going to do first is add Carlbot to our server. We can do this by going to the top left of our server and clicking on the server name. And then on the drop down menu here, just go down and select app directory. In the search bar here, we're going to search for Carlbot and then hit enter to search. And as you see, the first one that comes up here is Carlbot, so we can just select this. And then go to the right and select add to server. From here, make sure we have the correct server selected and click continue. Scroll to the bottom and authorize all of these. Confirm that we are human. After we've done that, we can now go back to our server. From here, we're going to create the roles that we want Carlbot to give us when we react to the message. So we're going to go to the top left and we're going to click on the server name again and then go down and select server settings. From here, we're going to go to the left and go to the second option here that says roles and select this. So I'm just going to go and create two new roles just for an example. So I can click create role. I'm just going to call this role one and customize this to however you'd like by changing the permissions and everything. But I'm just going to keep them default for this example. I'm going to create one. I'll create a second as well. Save changes. And one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And I'm going to drag Carlbot above both of these roles and save changes. I'm going to go back and make sure Carlbot's above both of these. After that, I can exit out my settings. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go to Carlbot. And I'm going to click on Carlbot and go to Carlbot's Discord profile. And in its about me, there's the website option with a link. I'm just going to click on this link. This is going to bring you to the Carlbot website. What we can do from here is log in with our Discord. And then just click on the server that we are creating the reaction rules in. All that we have to do now is go to the left and go down to where it says utility. And underneath utility, there's the reaction rules option. We're just going to select this. And we'll just select the create new reaction rule option. From here, the first thing that we're going to do is select a channel that we want the reaction role to be in. For me, I'm just going to select general, but you may want to go back to your server and create a new channel just for reaction roles. After that, where it says content, we can put something like react or roles. After that, we're going to come down to where it says the add emoji option. From here, we can put whatever emoji we would like the person to have to react to for a role. So I'm just going to select this thumbs up. After I do that, underneath, there's the select option button. I'll just click on this. And then I can assign what role the person will get when they react to that emoji. So I'll just do role one. Now I can add another emoji. Select option, and I'll do roll two for this one. After that, I can go down to the bottom, and I can click on the create option. Once I've done that, it's created the reaction roll, so I can now go, now go back to my Discord server. And as you can see, Carlbot has sent this react for roles message. And right now, I don't have any of these roles. But if I were to click on, say, the thumbs up, that's going to give me the first role that I created. And if I clicked on the second one, it would give me the second role. So you could customize these roles to whatever you'd like. You can make it so that just by reacting, people can select what roles they would like to have. I hope that this video helped you guys out. Please remember to like and subscribe.